Morning all, it's Phil here at Sheldon Bosley Night. We've got another property tour for you. We're gonna try and get this one done uh, fairly speedily before this rain comes down. That's the house we're going to. We're in Salby Way, which is just a small little cul-de-sac just off um, either Frensham or Sherbourne, whichever way you come in just there. That's the one we're going to. Attractive looking, so what they call a double uh, fronted um, house. It's a nice plot actually, you've got a nice frontage, couple of car driveway and then it leads to um, a, a garage obviously just there as well. So um, let's have a little tour around here. We'll show you exactly what we've got and then we'll have a dive inside and a wiggle around. So that's the front of the property there, as you can just see. As we said, it's a nice frontage just there and the garage is just that little bit wider than normal. So if we just turn around down there, that then takes you down to Sherbourne Avenue and then on the left, you've then got Frensham. Sherbourne veers off to the right-hand side. Lots of amenities nearby. Board's just gone up, so let's go and get in. Let's go and have a look. That's where we're going, number 11. So let me get in. So, just do a quick U-turn as we head in. So you do have the, sort of what they call the entrance hall, that's there, you've got fitted clothes, pegs and so on. And then we'll do another quick turn round just there, so you can see. So, where you see the stanchion just there, that would have been typically the length of the lounge but full width across the back and it opens up. So we got a nice big living space. You could easily have the dining area sort of set there. Over in the kitchen, we've got a sort of a breakfast area and there is a separate dining room, which you could obviously utilize. Now that door is closed off. That's where the kitchen has then been extended and they've took the kitchen units across. So that door is of no use. But obviously you could you know, take that wall out, open it up. There's there's certainly options there. The property is gas central heating, double glazing. The majority are UPVC double glazed. Windows, there are some others that are sealed unit, a wooden window. This is the dining area. So there's a bow window on the front of the house, the other side where the lounge is. This one is the flat window. Um, and then we'll just work our way into this so again if you can appreciate this is where the kitchen would have ended literally just here so all of that bit going across there wouldn't have existed so you've now got a really really nice space you may want to sort of upgrade and refresh the kitchen but it is certainly well kitted out there is a whole array of units and storage and so on and clearly the boiler has been upgraded there stable style door there which we'll come back to in a moment tiled floor fridge freezer space in there so we'll just turn around here nice little cul-de-sac here so we'll just work out to the top as you can see you're pointing that way which is pretty much southerly where the so three bedrooms up here You've got this landing, bedroom three in front, bedroom two to the right. Main bedroom is in here. That is bedroom one. It's a little darker in here with it having the purple and the lilac. You've got some storage all built in and fitted. The loft hatch is just above me, just there as you can see. So that's bedroom one. Bedroom two is on the front just there as you can see and lastly bedroom three just being used as storage and you've got i want to show you the garden from here you can see the extension in the add-on so full width still a nice big garden nice big plot we'll get down there in a minute once we've done the bathroom the bathroom is in here it's a white suite the it's just hiding behind there. There you go. So let's get down into the garden. Just come outside. It's a little bit blustery out here today. The rain is just about staying off. There you go. You can see the add-on. It really does open the house up. Obviously on the ground floor. Give you that lovely big 
kitchen. Full length lounge now. Still a nice big plot out here. You've got decking. There's loose stones with inset um, railway sleepers. There's an inset pond and rockery. And then it carries on over there to where the um, garage is. And the garage is just that little bit wider as well. And there's the plot. Right, I'm going to turn the camera around, tag a little bit more. There we go. So just come back towards the top end of the garden, just on the decking here. Um, it's going to be absolutely lovely here when the sun's out, the south facing sort of aspect here. So sun will rise there, set west which is over the right hand side just here and it is an absolute sun trap the clients were telling me um, all about that earlier on this morning um, so yeah certainly worth coming to have a look at here you're going to put your stamp on it obviously in terms of maybe decoration flooring possibly upgrading kitchens and bathrooms but you've got the extension already done it's a lovely quiet cul-de-sac you've got walks just at the top of the um Top of the cul-de-sac, literally on towards the uh, black track just there, which is the old disused railway line. I mentioned that quite a lot on our um, video tours, but that's a lovely walk. Takes you all the way up towards um, Hartsill Hayes. That direction, you can go the other way and there's a couple of lakes um, that you can, um, not swim in, but you can certainly fish um, round and then that will take you towards the other parts of sort of Stocking Ford just there as well. So road links are obviously fantastic. All the other amenities are in, there's pubs, clubs, shops, takeaways, um, etc. all nearby. You just at the bottom of Bucks Hill here. So you've got shops up there, up towards sort of Chapel End. The rest of Stocking Ford, you, you've got other bits going on there as well. So certainly worthwhile coming to have a look at here. We're going to launch the property very shortly. Have a look online. The brochure, spec sheets, etc. will be on there. Price is 225, asking price of 225,000 pound. Have a look, anything you're unsure about, let us know. We'll get you booked in then for a viewing, perhaps answer any questions. And um, yeah, don't forget, keep subscribing to our YouTube page. There'll be a link here. Click it, you'll see properties on here before they actually hit the main portals. So thanks for watching. Do take care for now. Bye-bye.